God's telescope. I want to see the light and see where I'm speaking and I'm turning around and see the truth. The truth is disguised by many Jesus' disciples knowing that encapsulated in the very essence of the life he lived that led to that, that first life. The disciples need to be reminded. We were witnesses of these things. We saw our heart Jesus healing, challenged the authorities and challenged the status quo and preached the way of justice. And then we will to recognize Jesus after the resurrection requires the disciples to understand the scriptures in a new way. Jesus is present in the disciples. All the disciples are patient and witnesses and therefore agents. Whether we want that status or not. And that requires us to let our minds be opened to the one that called us. That requires us to be open to what the scriptures say and how the word was written centuries ago as us as people. And so if you spoke of the most exciting stages of transformation, then I think that the conversation I had with the young adult who was trying to figure out confirmation or even how to become a member in the church. And all the questions that you can have about what it, what it means to be there, these are the questions in the Bible. The Bible talks about the world. The Bible talks about women being subservient to their husbands and how a marriage is a hard marriage to another man. The Bible talks about God that leads God's people to come. The Bible talks about the birth of a Christ child and the hope that this child is going to bring back the world. The Bible talks about life in the future. This is heavy, exasperating, and it's amazing. And this one Bible that I've taken out of context and you can bring it to a village, how can I maintain to do this and follow this and to be a part of this? But sometimes it's so hard to make sense. Resurrection moment, we're mindful that Jesus continues to walk with us, nurtures us, pushes us, challenges us. He continues to offer words of peace. He's also mindful of how then the disciples are being pushed into the work of transformation by witnessing, much like we see and do in the East Coast of the East. The United Church of Christ has often been identified as a heavy, exasperating mix. For it too has congregations across the entire spectrum. There are African American congregations that sing to the Lord and worship for two hours. There are Samoan congregations that sing and dance during worship. There are congregations that are very active in social justice movements, and others who continue to bring out God's mission of peace. There are congregations that are theologically liberal and congregations that are theologically conservative and there's a dead in between. But there are all congregations who have books that believe that a wall should be built on the U.S. Mexican border, a woman should be elected president, and universal health care should be the right for all. All in this one setting. The congregations that we are in are so happy to be part of the with us work together in this heavy exasperating mix that is called being agents of transformation and witness. And so we can wonder that Jesus continues to say to us, peace is my people. As agents of transformation and witness, we need to ask the tough questions. And so this in finding answers that we may not be what we expect, nor may they be answers we want to hear. What does the Bible say about war? What does the Bible say about relationships? What does the Bible say about immigration when we see about universal health care? We'll talk about that sometime. And sometimes we need the transformation for witnessing the simplicity of the healing process itself. The disciples could not have recognized Jesus without 
Thank you. 